Hi, I am Sohail. Today I am going to discuss the structure and composition of the vacuole. Main points of the lesson are structure and composition of vacuole, functions of vacuole, difference between vesicle and vacuole and types of vacuole. Vacuoles they are present in eukaryotes like animal cell and plant cell and absent in prokaryotes. Vacuoles are storage bubbles found in the cells. Vacuoles might store food, variety of nutrients, a cell might need to survive. So, they can even store waste products. So, the rest of the cell is protected from contamination. The term vacuole which means empty. The membrane of vacuole is called tonoplast. So, this is a plant cell and we can see here in the center there is a large central vacuole and the membrane of vacuole is called tonoplast and the contents which are present inside the tonoplast that is called cell sap. So, vacuoles they have no internal structure. In fact, vacuole actually means blank space. Cell sap is a fluid found in the vacuole. So, the membrane of vacuole is called tonoplast and inside the tonoplast cell sap is present. What is the similarity between vacuoles and plasma membrane? The membrane of vacuole is known as tonoplast. Tonoplast and the plasma membrane both are composed of lipid bilayer with embedded protein. What is the difference between tonoplast and plasma membrane? Vacuolar membrane that appears similar in form to plasma membrane, but it has different properties. For example, the two membranes have different permeability and physiological characteristics. Plant cells have a central vacuole and the water channels of the tonoplast they maintain the tonicity of the cell. Now, what is tonicity of the cell? Tonicity is a measure of relative concentration of solute particles on either side of semi permeable membrane. In plant cells, tonoplast they facilitates the transport of number of ions and materials against the concentration gradient into the vacuole. Against the concentration gradient mean ions and molecules they move from the region of lower concentration towards the region of higher concentration. So, their concentration is significantly higher in the vacuole than in the cytoplasm. So, they play a significant role in plant growth and development. Immature plant cells, they are generally small and they contain numerous small vacuoles. As water accumulates in these vacuoles, so, so they, they tend to coalesce, mean blend, consolidate or fuse forming a large central vacuole. Vacuole contains a high concentration of solutes. So, it takes in water and pushes outward on the cell wall. As we can see in this diagram, these are two bean shaped guard cells, they are surrounded by epidermal cells. So, guard cells, they are modified epidermal cells. When the guard cells are fully turgid, then a small opening appears in the middle which is called stoma. Stoma is singular, stomata is plural. So, when the guard cells, they are flaccid, then stoma is closed. So, vacuoles when takes in more water that results in hydrostatic pressure and this hydrostatic pressure is known as turgor pressure and that turgor pressure provides much of the mechanical strength in plant cells. A plant cell increases in size mainly by adding water to its central vacuole. What is present inside the vacuole? A large vacuole that contains water, stored food, salts pigments and metabolic wastes. Vacuoles they play important role to maintain the intracellular environment. For example, it helps to maintain appropriate pH of the cytoplasm by taking in excess hydrogen ions. Vacuoles may be strongly acidic as in citrus fruit. Vacuoles that serve as a storage compartment for inorganic compounds. These are apple seeds. So, in seeds vacuole they store much of the protein. So, toxic metabolic waste products they are stored in vacuole. Metabolic waste that may be recycled in vacuole or they may aggregate and form small crystals inside the vacuole. Plants they use vacuoles as means of defense. How? Compounds that are noxious mean deadly 
are injurious to herbivores, these compounds may be stored in some plant vacuoles. So, they use these vacuoles as means of defense. What, what are the similarities between vesicles and vacuoles? Vesicles and vacuoles, they are bounded by a single membrane and their function in storage and transport. But the difference between vesicle and vacuole is vacuoles they are comparatively larger in size as compared to vesicles. Secondly, vesicles they are produced from rough endoplasmic reticulum where they transport protein from rough endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi bodies. And in Golgi bodies that protein is modified into glycoprotein and lipoprotein and again these finished products are pinched off from Golgi bodies in transport vesicles. So, these transport vesicles and secretory vesicles they might fuse with plasma membrane during exocytosis. So, the membrane of vesicle that becomes part of the plasma membrane, but in case of vacuoles that does not fuse with the plasma membrane. May fuse, so, vesicle membrane that may fuse with plasma membrane or other membrane system within the cell, but, but vacuole membrane does not fuse with membranes of cellular components. Red color of many flower roses is a result of pigments concentrated in vacuoles of petals of the flower. Let us watch this animation to examine the accumulation of anthocyanin that is red and blue pigments in the vacuole of maize cells. What is vacuolation? Vacuolation is the development or formation of vacuoles. Let us watch this video to understand the structure and function of central vacuole. In a plant cell, the central vacuole is a large structure in the middle of the cell that is filled with watery fluid. And the purpose of a central vacuole in a plant cell is to support the cells. Plant cells increase in size more quickly than animal cells uh, the, because the central vacuole is able to take on water really quickly or lose water very quickly. And so the central vacuole is very flexible in how much water it can contain. In plant cells also, the central vacuole sort of becomes this place to just store extra stuff. And so in the central vacuole, the plant cell will sometimes store food and waste for the cell types of vacuoles. There are four types of vacuoles that is sap vacuoles, contractile vacuoles, food vacuoles and air vacuoles. They are also known as pseudo vacuoles or gas vacuoles. Sap vacuoles are fluid filled vacuoles. They are present here in plant cell that is bounded by a single membrane which is called tonoplast and inside the tonoplast cell sap is present. Contractile vacuoles, they are present in some protistan and algal cells which are found in fresh water. Paramecium, it has two contractile vacuoles 
each contractile vacuole is connected with these canals which are called feeding canals. A contractile vacuole has extensible and collapsible membrane. It is connected to feeding canals which obtain water with or without waste products from surrounding cytoplasm and pour into contractile vacuole. The vacuole swells up and the process is called diastole. When these so, feeding canals they pour water with or without waste into the contractile vacuole that process is known as diastole. So, the swollen contractile vacuole comes in contact with plasma membrane and collapses. Collapsing is called systole. This removes the vacuolar contents outside. So, in this way contractile vacuoles they remove surplus water from the body including waste products. Contractile vacuole they play important role in asthma regulation and excretion. Now, what is asthma regulation? Asthma regulation it is a process by which organisms they regulate water and electrolyte balance in its body to maintain homeostasis and excretion it is the removal of metabolic wastes from the body. In amoeba contractile vacuole is important for asthma regulation and excretion. Let us watch this animation where you can observe feeding canals and contractile vacuoles. Food vacuole, a membrane bound vacuole as in case of amoeba in which ingested food is digested that is called a food vacuole. Next is air vacuoles, they have been reported only in prokaryotes. So, many aquatic bacteria they produce gas vacuoles which are protein bound structures that contain air and allow the bacteria to adjust their buoyancy. To sum up, Vacuoles are storage bubbles they are found in cells and vacuoles they might store food and variety of nutrients a cell might need to survive. They can they store can. waste products so the rest of the cell is protected from contamination. Tonoplast is the membrane of vacuole and the contents which are present inside the tonoplast that is called cell sap. Functions of vacuoles, vacuoles they can occupy 90 percent volume of the cell. They maintain the tonicity, they are involved in plant growth and development. Vacuoles are storage compartment, they maintain the pH of the cytoplasm and, and seeds, vacuoles they store protein and toxic metabolic wastes are also stored in vacuole because they do not have excretory structures and, and through asthma regulation they maintain the water balance in the body and vacuolation is the development or formation of vacuole. Comparison between vesicle and vacuole. Similarity between vesicle and vacuole is they are bounded by a single membrane. Secondly, they are storage in function, but the difference between vesicle and vacuole is vacuoles they are comparatively larger in size as compared to vesicle. Secondly, membrane of vesicle that fuses with plasma membrane and its membrane becomes part of the plasma membrane or other membrane systems within a cell, but vacuole does not fuse with the plasma membrane. Types of vacuoles, there are four types of vacuoles that is sap vacuole, contractile vacuoles, food vacuoles and gas vacuoles. Let us watch this slideshow to examine different types of vacuoles.